Hello, this is Mr. Meiring with your Mad Minute video on generic rectangles, a uh, way to multiply polynomials in alternative to the FOIL method. Uh, so this is a binomial, this is another binomial, and uh, when we multiply them, what we've always done is probably FOIL, which would be you take the first, your outer terms and multiply, your inner terms, and your last terms and multiply. But we're going to do it with a rectangle, which gives a nice graphic uh, visual example to how that multiplication works. So all you do is you make a big rectangle, and you split the top part into how many parts there are to your first binomial, the up and down part with how many terms there are here, so there's two in each of those, so there's two parts, and you just label those with that length, x and minus 3. Here's an x and a positive 5. Within each of these rectangles, you're going to multiply to get kind of the area of that rectangle. x times x is x squared, negative 3 times x is a negative 3x, 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times negative 3 is a negative 15. That is the multiplication of all those parts. As you combine all your like terms within the inside of the areas, you get just an x squared. 5x and negative 3x give you positive 2x minus 15. And that's the graphic example, uh, or visual example, rather, of multiplying polynomials. If you'd like to try one for yourself, you could try one with the x plus 9 and x minus 2, and if you write out the generic rectangle and everything, you should get x squared minus 7x minus 18. So, good luck with that, and thanks for listening.